Hi guys, I'm Digman from Technology Today International and today I'm going to do an overview of the Galaxy W with CM10 uh, Android version 4.1.2 First up, I'll boot up the device Okay, let's boot it up It'll take around, around quite, quite fast See Galaxy W, CyanogenMod mod here The Cyan Engine Mod boot screen here. Over here, there is the Wi Fi here. It's been hardwired here. I think the Wi Fi, the wi -Fi signal is off. It's hardwired here. The 5 megapixel camera behind here. Speaker here. Powered up. Your lock screen here. Yeah, you can talk Google, Google Now, camera, or your lock screen. Unlock it. As you can see here, full down notification. You have a few settings here. It's custom sign engine mod, and the photo one, the two didn't have this. See? Scrolling is very smooth this. Let's go to the Android version here. Look at it first. About phone. See it's the GTI 8150 running Android photo 1.2. See? Playing the jelly beans. Let's go. If you press the home button, you can. There is no Google buttons. Google uh, Google now set settings there. Um, let me play a bit of Temple Run here. The game doesn't quite lag, but it's okay. It's playable. So you can see the game loads a bit slower than usual. The game the game is loaded. Let's play one round here. See the graphics are okay, it's not that good. But you can see the details here. So you can move left, right. It's pretty smooth the game. Okay, as you can see I've fallen down here. Okay guys, I'll recap the specs of this. Um, this is running size in mod 10, um, running Android version 4.1.2. There is 352 RAM at stock, but um, if I install Cyanogen Mod 10 here, and then you have 400, uh, 400 MB of RAM uh, plus or minus there. This is also overclocked to 1.8 GHz from the standard 1.4 GHz which the phone comes with. Um, as I said before, this is hardwired Wi-Fi here. Okay, let's look into the settings here. As you can see, I think it's very, very smooth here. You can have accounts here, time, performance. Let's go back here. Let's try on the camera. Let's have some subject here. Stylus here. Let's zoom in here. Okay. As you can see, the tick here it has autofocus. Click. And it's there. Let's click here and see. The details are quite good. Okay, you can see here we have panorama and video here. Zoom here with this bar here. Okay. Or I can turn back using the front facing camera here. And see the front facing camera here? Say hi. Okay, let's go back. The browser is pretty standard, it's the Android stock browser. Still looks the same, nothing altered here. And here we have the phone list here. Okay, phone. Let's go back. Your contacts. You can see here contacts look like stock Android. And then your messaging app. Messaging app looks the same also. Let's go back. See you have inside here you have the calendar calculator. It looks like something like the Windows Phone one. Let's see. See the animations here when it goes up and down. It's Okay, it's very nice animations here. You can unsign it and mod. You have your Google settings, which just randomly came out last month. Yeah, I have installed here the gallery, Dropbox here. You have Super User here. You have the People app, Play Store. Okay, I also had this um, Swap SD app here. It's to swap the internal memory with the external memories to install more apps here. This phone only comes with one point something gigabytes. It's actually two gigabytes, but internally it's only one point something gigabyte usable. 
So I install this and then you can swap your SD card to make it your internal memory here. 